kill you! I'll kill you! Let him go. Oh, can't believe I slept so long. I think you just gone eight. Oh, trust me, from what I'm used to, that's a big lion. So, what are your plans? Today? Oh, well, maybe I'll go for a walk, watch a bit of telly, you know, have a bit of a potter. A potter? Well, if that's okay. I thought maybe you could help me out a bit. I've made a list of jobs. Oh, excellent. Nothing too taxing. And if you do the ironing, remember my green top needs turning inside out. Right. Is there a problem? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, where, where are the bin liners for the garden? Under the sink. Ah, oh. uh, and the ironing board. Up but under the stairs. Oh, Zara, one, one final thing. Do you want the clothes putting away? Please. Oh, yeah. uh, Can you help me? Maybe we should get you off the road. Ah. I'm going to get you some help. Don't go. Ah. It's my dad. What? My dad owns the cafe on Barber Street. I don't know it. Look, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find him. We need him. It doesn't hurt. Are you going to be okay? Mm. I can stop this. I can end it. Sir? I need to see her father. I asked you a question. I killed her. Oh, I don't think I can do this anymore. Oh, come on, Mum. It won't be much longer. They'll crack soon. Oh, not before I do. Yeah, Ernie. Strike over, is it? I was never on strike. My mum's still working to rule, if that's what you mean. Well, be careful. We don't really do anything you can't manage, do we? And we wouldn't want you talking to a woman like she was your equal, would we? Bravo. I can't stand this atmosphere. Oh, come on. What about power to the people and all that? You're too young to remember Citizen Smith. Who? Hmm? Right. See you later. I am resuming my duties. Happy? I was never unhappy, Mrs. Hollins. Never unhappy. I was only there because a farmer had reported a vagrant nicking his sandwiches. What's his name? Anatole Karpsky, I think. He's got no ID, just a bag full of dirty washing. I reckon that he's been living rough for a long time. Well, why is he any complaining about his ankle now? Your guess is as good as mine. Any motive? No, but he just keeps saying that he did it and he wants punishing. Makes the CPS's job easier, I guess. Yeah, but there is something else, and here's the fun bit. Our friend is claiming that he killed the girl merely by the touch of his hand. Hello, Mr. Karpsky. I'm Dr. Clay. How did you hurt your ankle? The farmers chased me. And then what happened? You know what happened. 
I already told him. You killed Jessica Miles just by touch. I don't expect you to believe. The slightest touch, as soon as I felt her skin, she passed away. I will know the cause of death after the post-mortem. And then you'll believe me. And then you'll punish me. Let's, uh, let's get you to my room, shall we? Take a look at that ankle. I got separation from the post. Oh, come in, come in. I've been waiting for you. What for? I'm not Demi Moore, and you're not Robert Redford. Well, it's not a proposal, indecent or otherwise. The money is legitimate, and it's yours. When I was a teenager, I used to work in an ice rink in Moseley, and my boss paid me in an envelope like that, and he's probably still in jail for fraud. I can assure you it's all about board. So if I was to mention it to Julia, she would know all about it. Well, I uh, may have bent the rules slightly. Bent being the operative word. Karen, I have great respect for the way you perform your job, and I simply wanted to reward that performance. So that's very nice of you. But firstly, my husband's in the force, so I've got to be careful there. And secondly, I've already been arrested once this year, sir. So. Yes, but that was for murder, wasn't it? That's what I like about you. You know how to remind the girl of the good times. How long have you been sleeping rough? Don't remember. And your name, are you Russian? Ukraine. Does that hurt? You brought up in England? Can you put any weight on your foot? When are they going to charge me? When and if they've got evidence. I've told them what they need to know. How's my ankle? Well, I don't think there's a fracture, just a sprain. You should try and rest it as much as possible in the next couple of days. What, uh, what happened between you and Jessica? Was it an argument or something? Nothing like that. Did you know her? So you just attack a random woman down the country lane? When I found her, she needed help. She could hardly talk, but it was obvious she could not survive. Why? Her injuries were too severe. So she was hurt when you found her? I think she'd been hit by a car. OK. Uh, sorry, excuse me a second. Now, I'll speak to the officer that you assaulted, and that is the right word for it, OK? Right. But I can't promise anything. Ah, Dr Clay, have you got a moment to check his hand? He's hurt it on one of my officers. Can I um, have a word? Yeah, sure. Will you do the honours? Jessica Miles, she might have been hit by a car. Yeah, that is a line of inquiry that we're on to. There were skid marks on the road and her injuries were pretty severe. Why are you still convinced that he finished her off? Come on, that's a, a crazy idea. Mm. After that guy felt other people's pain a couple of weeks ago, I thought you'd be more open to crazy ideas. Yeah, I know, but killing by touch. Let's wait and see what the post-mortem tells us. Don't you normally throw the book at someone who's hot a copper? Yeah, but this one's got mitigating circumstances. Well, Mr Smith's results aren't much use to Mr Smythe, are they? So sort it out and phone me back when you've got the correct file. You used to need a GCSE to work on admin. Now it seems a lobotomy will do. I don't suppose we've got any milk again? Wrong. I bought some. Daddy? What is it? Uh, yeah, it, um, no, yeah, it's just a little accident. Accident? What sort of accident? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, I'm sure it'll be all right. Uh... What is that? Is that water? What's happened? No, nothing. I I'm just running the cold tap. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you've burnt yourself? Burnt? Yeah, relax. It was just on the iron. It'll be all right. Look, I can't come home now, so are you sure? Yeah, that's fine. I, I shouldn't have caught you. Oh! oh! I had to get out of here. Oh, 
perhaps you should pop home. There you are. This is has been wasting for so long, staring at the clock, doing TikTok noises. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I can pop round. <laughs> no. I've got house calls in your area, if it's not urgent. No, thanks. You can't get away. I can. Why not let me check on your dad? <sighs> OK. Yes? No, it is Smythe. Look, shall I come round there and sort it out myself? You're crazy to do this. That's funny. Most people are happy to be let out. I need to be punished. I killed a girl. I admitted this to them and to you, and yet they're putting me back on the streets. I think Mr Karpsky fancied a night in the cell. Stupid fool! Calm down. I'm not worried about sleeping rough. I want to be locked up because I am dangerous. Maybe if I explain. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You all right? I'm grateful for your efforts in getting her back to work. The whole work-to-rule thing has gone on long enough. Well, between you and I, I didn't think she would keep it up for much longer. It's been tough on everyone. I hated having to play hardball with her. It's a shame that we haven't been able to reward her properly. Yes, then come on, you know we've had to freeze pay rises across the board this year. Why do I always have to be the bad guy? You're lucky that you, you is the easy option. Oh, hello. Did you want me? Not you, exactly. So you understand what I'm telling you? I'm not stupid. But you're still not accepting it. If the police want to believe the car killed the girl, what can I do? They're letting you go because of what the post-mortem indicated. And the drovers come forward. You didn't kill Jessica Miles. She only died when I touched her. Well, there's no evidence for that. Your science would allow you to understand, do you mean? Guilt can make most people blame themselves in the most illogical ways. Even the most rational people find themselves saying, if only I'd done more. And for you, you think that Jessica would still be alive if you hadn't touched her? I've had doctors try and get inside my head before. I learned how to deal with them. I kept quiet. If you ever want to talk, where are you going to go? I have an errand to run. The dying wish of a dead girl. Yeah, we're done. You're making a mistake. Come on, let's go. Hiya. Oh, hello. C can I help? Yeah, um, Zara sent me to have a look at your burn. I'm Cherry Malone from the practice. Oh, I, I didn't want to be any trouble. Oh, well, that's a shame, because I was planning on a cuppa while I looked at your burn. I just have to be parched for the rest of the day. Isn't that bribery? Well, you better come in. <laughs> You're not still thinking about Karpsky, are you? What errand could he be doing for Jessica Miles? He said the dying wish of a dead girl. He did mention her father when I picked him up. Anatole wants to be punished. Come on. You hiding your surprise? The fact that there are no tattoos, me being an ex-con and all. Oh, I thought it was compulsory. That and being obsessed with bodybuilding. <laughs> no, inside, lots of the guys had love and hate tattooed on their knuckles. I had a patient that had love and ha because it was too painful to get it finished. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you trying to iron? Trying, yeah, that's the word. Can't even do that right. Oh, come on. And I shouldn't have called Zara, not when she's at work. You were worried and she didn't mind. Hmm. I may not have seen her for a while, but that doesn't sound like Zara to me. And she's every right to be annoyed. I shouldn't be here. I should be standing on my own two feet. And is that what you want? <sighs> Everything I do seems to irritate her. Well, this is my last home visit, so how about I help you with that ironing? Oh, wow. Well. The NHS has really changed a lot since I was on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> What 
closed. I've come to talk about Jessica. I was with her when she died. What happened? She wanted me to tell you she didn't suffer. And did she? No. Well, that's something. You know, they told me someone killed her. <laughs> then it was a hit and run. I just wish they'd make up their minds. Still. Same thing, I suppose, if... The driver handed himself in. If I had my way, I'd have five minutes in the room with that guy. And... You'd do anything for your child, wouldn't you? Do anything to have her back. There is something else I must tell you. The driver of the car. He didn't kill your daughter. I did. Okay, I'm not sure. I ironed this one. And you ironed. If that's what you can call this creased mess. I mean, look at this. Did you even try? <laughs> well, well, maybe you should iron it and show me where I'm going wrong. I am not falling for that a third time. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's enough! Enough! Oh, you're really pushing me today. Outside now. Come on. I take it easy. When is this a death wish? I don't need a guardian angel. If I can guess what you told him. But do you think he needed to be told that today of all days? You didn't kill her. Just you don't know everything! Now tell me. You see, I've done this before! I've done this before! Let go. You're scared. You believe my power. I saw it in your eyes. Get off him. Now. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You want me to go after him? No. And we wondered why the dog couldn't stand up until we realised it had polished the pool of the half-empty glasses. <laughs> <laughs> You're still here. I, I asked Cherry to stay and have dinner with us. Uh, if that's okay. I wanted to make amends for worrying you at work. What are we having? Chicken Kiev. I remember you, you liked it when you were a child. Super. Well, I'll, I'll just go and get the perfect bottle to go with it. This feels like it's a big deal to him. And what would you know about it? The burn wasn't serious, by the way. Anatoly said he'd done this before. Do you believe him? We'll put a call out, pick him up. I've got a feeling he might come to see me. I'm all right now. You can go. You feeling calmer? Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to talk, you know where I am. The mill. I'm thinking about an appointment, you're a bit late, it's just about to shut up shop. You said you could help me. Yeah, come through. This is nice. I really think so. Good. I'm glad. Oh, Sherry? Yeah, it's great. Thanks, Jed. <laughs> so, how was your day? Well, it was okay. Got worse when I burnt my hand, got better when Sherry arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be the life and soul. Now look at me. I can't even make small talk over dinner. I think I might as well turn it, you know. 
Leave you both to get on with it. Excuse me. Oh, th thank you. He's really making an effort, you know. What the hell has it got to do with you? I don't like to see people made to feel uncomfortable. It would have been an evening of embarrassing silences and awkwardness without you here. That's what Jed and I do, you know. Maybe it's what you do. But he's really trying his best if you hadn't noticed. Tell me what you meant in the calf. I was seven. At home from school with a fever. I think... I think the fever caused it, my ability in some way. One morning, my mother bent down to wipe my face with her flannel. I... I pushed her away. No child likes that done, do they? But as I touched her wrists, she dropped to the floor. I stayed with her all day, crying, praying for her to wake up. She didn't. And when he came back, I told him what I'd done. Your father. Just like today, the doctors got it wrong. They said my mother died of a heart attack. He coped with me for a while. But he thought I'd gone mad because of your claims. Because he found me in the bathroom with his razor, slicing the skin from my hands. The shock of seeing your mother die in front of you when you were so young could have caused a breakdown. You're saying I can't do it. And yet, in the cafe, I saw the fear in your eyes. I saw it. Well, I was surprised you weren't for me, that's all. No. No, no, there was something else. A recognition, a, a connection. Like, if you can do it, how come it doesn't affect you? I can't hurt myself. And I don't think you can hurt me. You're mad. I've only touched two people and Take both... My hand. Both have died. Take it. No. <laughs> I'm really glad I was right about that. So you know. Oh, thanks for that, Mary Poppins. Come on, talk to me. And let Nurse Cherry Malone sort it all out. <laughs> OK, thank you for dressing his hand and thank you for staying for the lovely dinner. And I suppose it's pointless hoping that you won't tell everyone about it tomorrow. Is that all that you're worried about? Sometimes I wish I was more like you. I mean, not the whole pink thing, but <laughs> the ability to see everything in black and white. It's not wrong to admit that you can't handle this, are you? But I can handle it. That's the point. You're not, you're not infallible. OK. My father is nothing like I remember. Happy? You've probably changed for him too. I don't mean to snap at him, but he is so infuriating. This morning he said he wanted to potter. He's never potted in his life. And look at him now. He, he can't even make a sandwich. He knows that he's a burden to you. Really? I don't want him to feel that. He, um, he talked about getting a place on his own. And maybe if it's tough, it's best for both of you. He could never cope on his own. And you can cope with him here. 
I thought... I thought you'd be trying to talk me into making an effort. No, if it's not right. Maybe he needs to be on his own. Maybe you both do. And if it's some sort of sheltered accommodation... There is no way my father is going into a nursing home. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. My dad looks like you're up in the same. Gave it to me on the original 1965 UK tour. It's Mikey Robinson. Oh, him. He always sounds like a girl to me. Schmorky. How do you know you can't tap dance if you tried? Why would I? Oh, Jimmy, it's got to be you. The women were so beautiful, I forgot to breathe. It's bye-bye to the big smoke as we escape to the...